This video was brought to you by Skillshare. There is nothing shocking in a new expedition vehicle that costs half a million bucks and above. On the contrary, anything cheaper is either met with skepticism or considered a great deal to buy. Today we would like to defy this tough reality by demonstrating the market's cheapest expedition rigs that still possess worthy globetrotting capabilities but at least carry price tags and 5 and lower 6 figures margins. So subscribe to Musty Tech if you do not want to miss the upcoming episodes, ring the bell and let's roll! Crawler Otec 385 the Turkish manufacturer Crawler has been on a roll ever since receiving international recognition in 2020 for the Otec 600. The all-new 385 model is its smaller variant with the Unimog underpinnings instead of the MAN chassis used for the rest of the family. The camper has the looks of a classy motorhome but features a pop-up-proof section in place of a seamless cab-over. The setup allows to minimize the height of the camper but still accommodates a bed area on top of the cab. Inside the scroller, you'll find a huge dining area for five people. At night, it also turns into a second bed. The floor plan features a kitchen with a two-burner stove, a 5.6 cubic feet fridge, a bathroom, and a dedicated wardrobe area. Despite being the smallest model in the Otec series, the 385 carries 132 gallons of fresh water, gets 380 watts of solar, and offers a combined air-water heater from Truma. AT Overland Atera XL Already quite well known for their truck toppers, AT Overland is now ready with their largest build to date, a flatbed camper that fits 6.5 and 8 feet truck beds and can support your travels all year round. Its shell is engineered by Tern Overland and is made of fiberglass reinforced plastic honeycomb. Inside you have 6 feet 3 inches of headroom, most fixtures use stainless steel and bamboo plywood, Plus, the Atero XL comes equipped with the Truma Vario Heat and a max air vent to keep the cabin comfortable. Large Arctic turn windows create a roomy and airy feel despite the modest truck camper dimensions. The kitchen fits a two-burner sink stove and a 90-liter fridge freezer. There is a 30-gallon freshwater tank with an on-demand AquaGo heater. But instead of a full bath, you get an under-seat Rapoon Tracker waterless toilet. Hunter RMV Predator 2 and Apex. MAN's Mercedes Actress and F-150s are all tough platforms for an expedition rig, but a true apocalypse-grade chassis would be the light-medium tactical vehicle. The Nevada Hunter RMV uses this Austrian Steyr 12M18 truck, modified for the US military purposes, as a base chassis for their Predator 2 and Apex builds. This full-time all-wheel drive platform could be configured as a 4x4 for both versions or as a 6x6 for the Apex. The Predator is the cheaper $150,000 version with a 19-feet box, 6.6-liter .6 engine, 400 miles range, a slide-out, bunks and a queen-size bed, which total in a 6 passengers capacity. The Apex, on the other hand, is a premium product with 15 or 20-feet composite habitat box, double the range, and 250 gallons of fresh water instead of 150. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you about this week's sponsor, Skillshare. This online platform will help you discover lifelong learning and you will get a chance to join a million strong community of knowledge and skill seekers. Begin your self-improvement journey with the classes in animation, design, lifestyle, business, writing, and other real-life fields that would disrupt your personal routine. On average, Skillshare classes will take less than 60 minutes to complete, and you'll be able to draw knowledge from both video lessons and practical projects. This week, our team at Musty Tech will be exploring a very relevant class on travel photography taught by Sean Dalton. We will join Sean in Venice, Italy, as he'll be breaking down the process of how to document and share our next trip without missing out on the experiences in the moment. We expect to learn how to choose a camera, tell stories through pictures, keep a travel journal, and sort out a messy photo gallery. 
If you want to join us in the online classroom, Skillshare subscription is extremely affordable. Plus, the first 1,000 viewers who will follow the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Let's get back to the show. Aeon RV There is a new kid on the block of the Expedition vehicles coming from the young company founded by two Silicon Valley executives with over 60 years of combined experience and technology. Headquartered in Nevada, the Aeon RV follows the fundamental concepts that were infused in its acronym name. All season, electric, off-road and new. The model uses the latest Ford Transit chassis with a popular 3.5-liter V6 EcoBoost engine and a four-wheel drive system. To improve its off-roading potential, a new suspension, skid plates, steel wheels and rocket BF Goodrich tires were installed. The rig carries 66 gallons of fresh water and the maximum onboard battery capacity can reach 12.8 kWh. Recharging is done via a 700W solar array, the camper can accommodate a family of four, and the range of appliances includes an electric two-burner countertop stove, AC unit, and a fridge. SLRV Evaco Daily 4x4 For this rig, Australia's SLRV bars a new 14 feet light commercial van platform from the Italian Industrian Vehicles Corporation. The Evaco Daily is a highly spec off roader with the front, center, and rear differentials, parabolic suspension, and super single wheels. The camper body is mounted using a three point torsion free chassis mounting system, allowing independent twist and minimal transfer of forces. The new SLRV Vaco Daily 4x4 is currently available in three floor plans, with either a fixed bed or an electric lift-up bed, an optional ensuite bathroom with a Dao washing machine, solid surface bench top, induction cooktop, convection oven, and a side-by-side -side marine compressor fridge. Powered by 180 HP 3-liter Evaco diesel, this expedition rig has a 200-liter gas tank, while its electrical needs are ensured by the master vault batteries, solar, and a Hansa 2.0i generator. Portlight Expedition 1 and 2 From the custom aluminum flatbed to the smallest door, all the structural components of this expedition camper are handmade in Maine. Portlight has developed a duo of fully molded composite tricks for the regular 6.5 feet bed and a long 8 feet version. The shell gets natural light through double pane acrylic windows with screen and blinds, and the ease of access comes from the European style entry door. Among the factory installed systems are the Victron Energy Power and Control, 5 kWh AMG battery pack, 400 watts worth of solar, diesel heat, and water supply. Standard amenities of the shorter version include an outside shower, but an upgrade to soak yourself on the inside is surely available. The Portlight 1 and 2 campers weigh 1,350 pounds dry, carry up to 30 gallons of fresh and from 9 to 18 gallons of grey water. Global Explorer by AAV 4x4 AAV, short for Australian Adventure Vehicles, is a Brisbane-based manufacturer of motorhomes led by a family duo of passionate adventurers Kim and Lynn Bolton. Their latest Global Explorer project is built relying on the experience gathered when traveling across different parts of Asia, Africa, Russia, Europe, and the Americas. The rig is based on the light Fuso 4x4 counter chassis with a modified leaf spring suspension, huge 37-inch super single wheels, and a 3-liter turbo diesel engine. The latter is paired with a 5-speed manual gearbox, a rear limited slip differential, and a 2-speed transfer case. The vehicle has a small turning circle of 37 feet and behaves much more like a compact motorhome. Inside you should not expect luxury amenities, but it has everything needed, including a bathroom and cooking appliances, for a 600-mile trip. Bliss Mobile 11 and 13 feet 
The entry-level models by Bless Mobile may be smaller than the company's flagship vehicles, but they are definitely not less feature-rich and expedition-proof. Both are built around a robust self-supporting container frame with a sandwich panel walls. In case of the 11-foot model, it also gets a pop-up-proof option and is paired exclusively with a 4x4 Unimog. The 13-footer weighs 4,000 pounds try, and it can be mounted on Mercedes Unimog or Atago, Evaco Daily or MAN TGM chassis. For the smaller rig, you get to choose between two floor plans and four for the larger one. Regardless, all come equipped with the floor heating, air conditioning, diesel air heater, boiler, 10 kWh battery and up to 100 kWh of solar. The shower and toilet are separate, there is a side kitchen and the bed is located in the rear. Expedition Portal F550 Full Custom Camper A Californian designer and camping enthusiast spared no expense on the development of this custom rig. It is based on the Ford F550 chassis and is fitted with a composite flatbed cabin. The model was developed as a family expedition vehicle, so it has enough space for two adults, two kids and two large dogs. This custom camper is equipped with a pop-up roof that increases the interior height to 6 feet and 10 inches. To be completely sustainable, it relies on solar energy and gasoline, has a huge battery pack of 800 amp hour and carries 100 gallons of fresh water. The cooking is handled by a two-burner induction cooktop and a barbecue. Plus, there are three showers and a composting toilet. The camper was built in 2016 and at the point of the resale in 2020 had only 25,000 miles on the meter and the price tag of 225 kron. GXV Adventure Truck Adventure Trucks is a sub-brand of global expedition vehicles that builds their rigs over the Ram 5500 and Ford F550 chassis. At this time, the Adventure Vehicles lineup includes two models, Base and XT, with a cab over sleeping area. They get over an inch thick fiberglass composite bodies with a closed cell foam insulation and cab to cabin access. Each offers a rear bed for two, a galley kitchen and a wet bath, featuring a Thad Ford Swivel cassette toilet and a shower. These motorhomes can carry up to 100 gallons of diesel and 90 of fresh water, plus there is a 26-gallon grey water tank. The campers offer a 5-inch lift kit as standard, but can be optioned with an additional 3-inch one, as well as 20-inch wheels with Goodyear tires, AEV heavy-duty bumpers and electric steps. Do not forget to check out Skillshare's offer by following the link in the description and let's meet in the comment section to discuss the lineup. Like this episode and subscribe to Musty Tech to get the latest information about the new developments in the world of RVs. You can start with a playlist displayed on the screen. We'll see you soon.